Um, I would say the most awesome thing um, that's happened since being here has just been working with the students and um, taking part in their learning process and seeing them grow and evolve and as winemakers and as professionals. We have a wine club, so a loyal following that gets shipments a couple times a year, uh, but we're in the local grocery stores and wine shops. We're also in restaurants. Um, we're pretty much anywhere you would expect to find wine in this region. Now we don't, uh, we sell most of the wine kind of right in the valley here, but um, we have a little bit of distribution in some in some more farther reaching uh, areas, but mainly right around here. There's typically around 10 teacher professors. We have three or four or five administrative people. We have a librarian, a wine library. Kevin Smith here is our marketing and sales manager, and we all teach as well. Um, so there's all in told about 20 of us total. During harvest, it's a pretty long day. Uh, we start pretty early a lot of the time and work late uh, when the winemaking requires it. Um, so harvest time, we do a lot of extra work. We're here every day on the weekends, um, and the winemaking doesn't give us a break, but typically uh, we just work a regular eight-hour day. The wine production class that I'm teaching right now is harvest specific, so it's just taught in the fall. Uh, in the spring I teach a class called winery management, which is once again big picture topics around winemaking and managing winery. This is really the class where they can put all of those separate um, uh, types of knowledge together in an application form. So yeah, the idea is that we're out there practicing all the things that we've been learning. So white wines typically are sold pretty quickly. Um, for example, our Pinot Gris or Sauvignon Blanc might be, um, if we were ready to sell it, we could hit the shelves with it um, this winter time or early spring. Uh, that's on the short side. On the long side, red wines can take um, up to two and a half, three years before they're ready to drink. Uh, so it depends on the type of wine you're making. They need a lot of aging before they go to the bottle in order for them to taste uh, at their optimum. So sometimes you'll, you'll see wines in barrel for two, two and a half years. Now when we bottle the wines, they often need some, a little bit of a rest time from that bottling process, which is kind of hard, hard on them. And wines will go through a period called bottle shock where they don't taste and smell as, as good or vibrant as they should. And it takes them a while to come back and smell good again. So yeah, sometimes that whole period on a, a big, long aging red wine might take up to three years. I love agriculture and biology. Um, I love the sciences and winemaking really combines a lot of different sciences um, from the soils and the biogeography to climate and weather. Um, certainly the, the vine biology is plant biology. Um, the fermentation of the grapes is all yeast biology. There's a lot of chemistry involved in analyzing the wine itself. Um, there is psychology involved in consumer preference and enjoying the wine. So with all those different elements of science, it's really appealing to me because I, I love the sciences. Now, on top of that, there is an artistic side of winemaking as well in that when you understand all of the tools and you understand all of the sciences, you have some creativity to um, go out and make something that's pleasurable according to those tools. Um, and so it's really art meets science in a way as well, and all of those different things are appealing to me.